Hey guys, it's All Things Disney, and today I will be showing you part two of the Harley Quinn Rainbow Loom Charmer figure, which will be hooking the figure. And if you haven't seen part one, totally check that out, because if you haven't part watched part one, then you can't do part two, because this is just hooking. I will not be showing you how to place this, place the bands in this video. So, um, let's just get started where we left off in the other video. So first, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the arms. So we place them here. So we're just going to go inside this red cap band on the left. Go in and around. And you're just going to grab that bottom black band and then bring it back around. And hook it pretty much backwards around to where it began. Like, just hook it back to that peg near the shoulder. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you're going to go in the black cap band and grab the red bands. My cap band fell apart. That's okay. You just put your bands back there, and then you can redo the cap band. So, like, for me, I'm just going to twist it around my hook. Not my hook. Um, my peg again three times, or two times. And then I'm just going to retry and hold your cap band down so it doesn't pop off like mine just did. You're going to go in and around and grab that red bottom band. And then you're going to go around and bring it back. Hooking backwards pretty much. Okay, now we're going to start with the right. We can start the body. So we're going to start by going in that right cap band at the bottom and grab the bottom two black bands. And then you'll see here, this is where we have a double layer of bands. So you see there are these cap bands, or horizontal bands. You're just going to, they're in triangles right now. You're going to take them off of that peg so they just look like normal, like, they're just like on these two pegs. But you don't have to do this one. So that they're out of the way so that they don't get in the way while we're hooking this. So on, you're going to go in this little cap band. You're going to grab the top two black bands and bring them up. Then you're going to grab the top two red bands. Only the top two, not the bottom two. I don't know what I grabbed there. So I only grabbed one of them, so you're, if you only grab one, you're going to go back in and grab the other. I don't know why I can't get it. Okay. So you're just doing the top two. And then you're going to go on one last time and just grab the top two reds. So it should look like this. Now you can place our horizontal bands back in the spot they belong. And we're just going to take the outside four bands and bring them up and around the pegs. Only these two middle pegs, not this one here or this one here. You're gonna make th sure those fall don't fall off. So they're now on the, they're like connected to the horizontal band. Okay, now we can pretty much hook normally. So you're gen gonna go back in that peg and grab the bottom two black bands or the original black bands. Then go in the cap band and grab the bottom two ba red bands. Go in the cap band, grab the bottom two red bands, and we're going to stop there. Now we're going to do the same thing on the left, just without all the layers and stuff. So this one will be easier, and all you have to do is go in the cap band, bring that up, and then go in, grab the bottom two, bring it up. Go in, grab the bottom two, and bring it up. Go in, grab the bottom two, bring it up. Okay, so now we're done with that. Now we're going to do the center. We're going to go, don't go in anything because the center doesn't have anything to go in. So you just go from the outside and bring it up. Go and grab the bottom two, bring it up. And it's pretty simple now.
so now we have hooked all of this, all of this, and the middle. Now we're going to go on the diagonal where we have the arms go under everything on the left. And just grab the bottom two, which should be one black and one white. And then the same thing on the right, which should be one, black, one red and one white. So now we're done with the body, and it was a little confusing right here with that. So I hope you didn't, I didn't confuse you too much if you got confused, so I just hope you didn't get too confused during that. Now we're just going to go under all these bands and grab the bottom two for the neck, which should be one black and one red, and bring it up. So there may be a lot of tension there because all of those bands are on it. So make sure you don't like break the bands or anything. Now you're going to grab the top two white bands. And before we do that actually, we have to do the we have another double layer here. So we're going to take off this cap band like we did with the body and put it there. And then the eye band, you're just going to I'm just going to leave it in my hook or stretch it out with my hook and then I'm going to skip stick my finger through there so it doesn't fall off because there's an eye there and you don't want that eye to fall off. So now I'm just going to go in, grab the top two, which should be going to the right. Then you're just going to grab the top two white, which should be the extra two that were placed later on the top for like the extension part. Then grab the top two black and bring it up. So that one's a, a little bit easier than the body one because it's shorter and now you can put back your horizontal bands. Now we can hook it normally on the face. So just go in and grab the bottom one. Bring it up. Grab the bottom one and bring it up. So now we're up to there where the diagonal is and you're not going to do that yet. Now you're going to go in your neck band and grab the next to the top one which should be going to the left and you're just going to place it diagonally on the left and this one is easier like with the body there is no like extension here or layers or anything so we're just going to do it normally and you're going to just go in and bring the bottom two bands up. And once you have done that, we can go back in the neck band and grab the last one, which should be the middle, and just go up in the middle, which is probably the easiest row. And now we can finally do some of the last bands. We're just going to go in on the right not the right, the left, and grab the bottom two red and bring them diagonally. And then go in on the right and grab the bottom two black and go diagonally. So now we're finally done with the complicated stuff. And we can grab the bottom single band with your hook. Just go in all of those bands and grab the single red band that we placed. It's the first band. I grabbed the wrong band. I don't know what I grabbed. So you're just going to want to grab that, I don't know why I can't seem to get it, okay so I got it, finally, and you're just going to bring it up to the next peg, make sure your band doesn't snap, you're just going to go in from the outside and bring the bottom part up and around so you can tie it off and then you're just going to pull it to create the slip knot. And now we are finally done so we can start taking her off. Don't pull her off. I recommend using your hook because if you pull her off there's a chance she may break. So I'm just using my hook. Just take them 
take her off the loom. Okay, almost done. And then, so you're just going to keep on doing that. done taking it off. It looks like this. You're just going to pull it around and like play with it a little and stretch it so it looks the way you would like it to be. And Harley Quinn does have a mask but I cannot come up with a way to make a mask so if you can come up with a way on your own then totally put that in but this is pretty much Harley Quinn without the mask. So now that's pretty much it, and if you want to hide this charm strap or slip knot, just grab any two bands in the back of her head and grab that single band and then pull it through. Okay. So, now we're done. So, um, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and... Thanks for watching it. If I confused you a little, I'm sorry about that. It's kind of the color pattern is a little bit confusing. But um, thanks for watching this tutorial. And please like, comment, and subscribe, and share with your friends. And I'll see you next time. And bye!